Hello friends, this video on garbage in garbage out part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now different types of wastes need to be handled differently. Now as we discussed that there are two types of waste. One is biodegradable waste which will get degraded in the nature. The other one is non-biodegradable waste. So this one is not harmful to the environment because over a period of time this will help the environment and this will not harm the environment. Since it will not harm the environment therefore it will not harm us. But when we talk about non-biodegradable waste, they will not get degraded. So they will harm the environment because they will get collected in the environment, they will pollute the environment. So they will also harm us. So the way biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes are handled are totally different. So let us first discuss about the biodegradable wastes. Those wastes which can be converted into harmless things, how do we handle them? So what can we do with plant and animal waste? So when we talk about biodegradable wastes, the most common wastes under biodegradable wastes are plant wastes, animal waste. Now plant wastes could be vegetable skins, it could be vegetable peels, rotten fruits, vegetables, rotten food. Similarly, animal wastes could be animal excreta. So paper wastes, they are also example of uh, biodegradable waste. So what can we do with them? So one possibility is burning. So let, let's think of a pile of dry leaves. So we do not need the dry leaves. So we just want to throw them. So how do we handle those dry leaves? So do you think burning would be a good option? Never. Because as I had mentioned before also that burning anything will always produce a lot of smoke, dust and also harmful gases. So it is going to uh, harm us. It is going to harm the environment. So burning is never a right option. So what can we do next? So the best thing that can be done with the biodegradable waste is composting. So what is composting? So it is a process where waste materials can be converted into some useful substances. So the process in which waste materials they get rotten and they get converted into manure. So rotting and conversion of some materials into manure. Now you might ask, what is manure? So manure is something which is useful for us. So I hope you understood it from this word. That manure is something which is useful for us. How is it useful? Because it helps plants to grow. So plants need manure for their better growth. So that's wonderful. So something which is waste for us. The same wastes can be beneficial for plant growth. Now if plants are growing, that is benefiting us because we get our food from agriculture. So agriculture is all about growing plants. So what we can do is whatever waste materials we throw out of our houses, let, them, let us prepare manure out of them and then the same manure will help our agriculture to flourish and we will get better food. So that, that's like a nice thing. So when we talk about manure, it is an organic substance which contains carbon and that increases the soil fertility. So that's how they help the plants to grow. So when you look at any plant, plant receive, plants also need a lot of nutrients for their growth. And plants receive their nutrients from the soil. Because when we water the plant, the water remains in the soil and plants take the nutrients which is dissolved in the soil, dissolved in water within the soil. So plants receive all their nutrients from the soil. Now if we add manure to the soil, this manure will increase the fertility of the soil. It increases, it enhances the soil quality. So if the soil quality is improved, so obviously the plant will also receive improved nutrients and therefore the plant will grow better. So the plant growth will also improve. So that's the, that's a manure. So how do we prepare manure? It is prepared from decomposition of animal excreta and plant wastes. So all the uh, biodegradable wastes, mostly the plant wastes, vegetable wastes, vegetable peels, rotten fruits, vegetables, etc. The, all of these things which were wastes for us, those things can be decomposed. That means you just leave all of them as it is. Over a couple of weeks, over a couple of months, the decomposition process will start. And as a result, the manure will be formed. So we will talk about the exact process of composting.
So a manure basically contains organic matter plus all the nutrients that is needed by a plant for its growth. Its role is to improve the quality of the soil. So it increases the water holding capacity of the soil because the more water the soil can hold, the better it is for the plants so that the plants will be able to get more water. Plants need water. Similarly, it also avoids water logging. So the soil structure is improved in such a way that it doesn't allow too much of water to get logged there. Because if water logging happens, in that case, the, the soil doesn't remain airy anymore. So the soil need to hold water. At the same time, the soil need to have some space for air because plants need both water and air. So if there is too much of water logging, in that case there would be no space within the soil where air could be present. So that is why uh, this, um, when you add manure to the soil, it makes sure that the soil fertility is improved, the water holding capacity of the soil is improved, the soil is not allowing water to get logged. So overall it will help the plant to grow better. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.